Well, good morning, everyone. Let us start our today's discussion on Weka. Before we start, let me tell you this Weka is one of the most important as well as widely popular data mining platform for performing different type of machine learning activities, including different type of clustering, associative role mining, as well as the other predictive learning. The full abbreviation of Weka is Mercato Environment for Knowledge Analysis. It is basically a data mining tool developed by the Department of CSC University of Mercato, New Zealand. And that's why the name of this particular programming language or platform is based on the bird name which is available at the island of New Zealand. The more detail or the download installation of this Weka is available at the following link. It is one of the standard data mining analytical platform that is exclusively written on Java platform. And since it is basically written on Java platform, that's why it's platform independent and various type of mining activity uh, can be easily done by a mouse click on the Weka platform. Let us start our discussion on Weka. You see, the Weka main feature are listed over here like it has multiple data processing tool each of the processing is basically unique with other system and there will be an integrated platform as well as an integrated button for each of the data processes different type of classification regression and algorithm can be built associated with Weka platform it has a different clustering algorithm which is one of the most famous unsupervised type of machine learning. It has different search algorithm as well as the different knowledge flow activity. So these are the reason why Vika is that much popular among the data scientists in our The data in data in Vika platform can be imported from the various files but the most suitable file format that works well with the Weka platform are the CSV 345 file binary as well as CRSS file. You can also refer the different URL or the database or the data warehouse using the Weka platform and it can also contain different type of filters for performing transformation, normalization, and other ad hoc activities. So this is basically the this is basically the Weka platform. The moment you click and open the Weka, the first window that will be appear it will be like this. Over there, you can see the red cursor point. The moment you click this open file it will be asked you that from where you would like to open your data or processing. For example, over there, we are actually opening an inbuilt file called Irish, which contain 150 record as well as five column or attribute. And the name of the columns are listed here. If you see this, it is basically the first four are numeric column containing the numeric value whereas the fifth column is basically a categorized value which contains basically the type of the uh, ID sepal length or okay. You see the moment you click any of this record it's minimum, maximum, mean, standard deviation and all these things will be open to you. So it will be provide you auto visualization feature. You can get the different visualization view by your mouse click, which is not possible 
in other standard programming language because on that platform you have to write down some codes for visualizing your data from that new set of database you see the moment you click the visualize all from this irish table it will be visualize the entire record based upon this five column for example the first four visualization are based upon the different four columns of irish table whereas the fifth visualization is basically showing the number of observation of each category of visualization like out of 150 record each category of the visualization contain 50 So this is the normal distribution. Now, when you click in any of the column, the detail of this whether it contain any string value or not, how many distinct value are there, how many unique values are there, what is the minimum or the maximum uh, column value, what is the mean and the standard deviation. So this type of spectrum. tendency related data will be available to you instead without visualization now the moment you would like to make some further analysis you click on the filter button it will show you that whether you would like to filter the unsupervised or supervised if you click on supervised attribute it will be asks you some data out of that for example we select this data is then you will see a this type of things will be written inside this text window at this basically suggest we are going to segregate it are all this 150 record and five attribute into A different bin location, a different cluster location. You see, there are ten bins at a time. Follow the cursor location, please. So the moment you write that, it will be actually responsible for making ten bins where equal size data will be put in that. You can also customize this bin size according to your choice. A moment to press click. You see, the data is been categorized into ten bins as you specify. Each of these bin detail is showing over there. Apart from that, there in in Deka platform there is another building classification called classifiers. This classifiers are basically predicted nominal or numeric value. The main aim of the classifier is to provide you the different decision support graphical attribute. Like, for example, this is a decision tree, and the decision tree contains some parameter like the age, income, student, their credit rating. Or their prediction whether they will be purchase a computer or not. You see from this particular tabular to dimensional static data structure, you can easily getting some knowledge that if the credit rating of the students are high, if they are student, if their income group are high, as well as their age are. Less than twenty or less than thirty. In that case, the probability of purchasing computers will be high. So this concept of decision tree, we now try to implement it through our Wicom platform. You see, that is basically the manual decision tree we have computed based upon the previous page table, like. If age is less than thirty and if he is a student, in that case, definitely he will be trying to purchase the computer. Else, if his age is thirty-one to forty, then also he might purchase the computer. 
and it is easy to better than for this credit rating is good in that case you must go for purchasing public the same concept we are actually now trying to implement in through wake up for that you just go to your main window of wake up click choose zero r and when you choose zero r you have to choose the g48 which actually contain the decision tree classifier the moment you write that you will be getting some data like that you just click there and you will be getting that the confidence factor and all those things are being computed you press ok and you will be getting the main window over there if you select the more option and again select the ok button and start computing of decision tree classifier you will be getting the decision tree related prediction for our previous I wish table which contain 150 with a code with five column we visualize it. Now at the right side if you click right click and go to the visualize key, you will be actually getting the visualization of the tree structure. Show you again. The moment you click right click that you get the visual tree, visualization tree. When you select that. So, in this manner, you can work on the wake up platform. I request you all to go through all my lecture series as well as the wake up related classes through Google, Google platform. And in order to get a clear knowledge how this particular analytic tools are used. For any queries, please email me or WhatsApp me on my number. I hope you will finish the online assignment within due time. Thank you very much.